Hey everybody, welcome back for another Vesta tutorial. Today we are going to be doing something super cool. We are going to be making a gold nanowire using Vesta. That's right, Vesta is completely free and we're going to use it to be making a gold nanowire. Now in a previous video I actually made a titanium dioxide nanowire. So it's a little more complex actually than this example, but I think I, I wanted to make this example because actually gold nano rods are actually very popular in the literature and if you're into material science and you want to get into computational material science, uh, having this skill will be a good skill to have. So without further ado, I'm going to open up a file of a gold unit cell that I happen to have. Um, you can easily find this on the internet. And um, first thing, when we're going to make the nanowire, we need to... We need to understand two things. Number one is that the nanowire we're going to make here in this case is a crystalline nanowire. Uh, it's possible that in experiments nanowires might be some sort of amorphous like structure uh, but for this but, but but for this tutorial we're going to be, be making a crystalline a crystalline nanowire and we have to ask ourselves how thick do we want to make the nanowire? Do we want to make the nanowire one unit cell thick, two unit cells, cells thick, three, four. Um, in my titanium dioxide example, we did two unit cells thick. So I think in this example, we can do two unit cells and that would be an appreciable diameter. That'd be a respectable diameter for studying because you have to remember, the larger the systems are, the more expensive it will be to perform electronic structure calculations on them. And so, um, how exactly do we expand this structure? Well, what we do is we I press Control E. You can actually just go to Edit. So I'll, I'll show you that. You go to Edit, Edit Data, Unit Cell. Then we go to Transform. And I'm going to make this 2 by 2 by 2. Select OK. Yes. OK. Apply. And so you can see we just made a 2 by 2 by 2 supercell of gold. Now what we need to do is I actually need to save this. I'm going to save it as a uh, VASP. Export data. And I'm going to save it AU 2x2x2.VASP. Save. Cartesian coordinates. Okay. Now I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to reopen up that 2x2x2VASP. Okay. So now here we are. And what we need to do, I'm just going to press this A. By the way, if you're if you're ever wondering what all of these buttons do over here, uh, please go check out my beginner tutorial series. So now, um, what we're going to do is we need to figure out in what dimension do we want to make the nanowire. Now, in the case of titanium dioxide, it was very clear what dimension we should use because we had this sort of uh, uh, you know, non-even unit cell. I think it was like orthorhombic or something like that. And one of the directions was naturally very long. In the case of gold, basically all the unit cell vectors are the same because it's cubic. So it doesn't really matter what direction we make the nanowire. Uh, for the sake of this video, um, I'm going to make the nanowire extending in the B dimension. And what that means is that we actually need to be preserving periodicity in the B dimension. Um, in the A and C dimensions, we are going to be adding vacuum. And so if we want to preserve periodicity in a dimension in Vesta, it's the weirdest thing, but we need to actually delete atoms in that dimension. So what we'll do is we'll delete all of the periodic replicas in the B dimension. So in the titanium dioxide example, it was actually very trivial. We just needed to delete two atoms. In this case, we actually need to delete this entire um, side here. So you can see that the B dimension is no longer um, uh, is, is, is no longer periodic in this instance. And this is actually what you need to do to make it periodic later. It's very strange. Uh, because we're going to be adding vacuum in the A and C dimensions, we're going to keep them periodic here so that when we add the vacuum, it gets the full unit cell in there. Okay. Anyways, so what we're going to do is save this, go to File, Export Data. Now we're going to just save it as an XYZ. So press Save. Save Hidden Atoms, No. Then we come here. We basically come to our, uh, our file where we're working, and we have the files we just saved. 
So now what I'm going to do is go into this 2 by 2 by 2 XYZ. I'm going to copy all the atoms. And I'm going to come here to 2 by 2 by 2 VASP. Open this up. Now I'm going to delete these atoms. And recall that we had 50 gold atoms. Okay, so we have 50 gold atoms. Now because we just have a single crystal, I don't think we really need to worry about stoichiometry that much. Um, though it is still important. So I'm going to call this gold nanowire, AU nanowire. And um, we are adding vacuum in the A and C dimensions. So I like to add 15 angstroms of vacuum. So A plus 15 is 23. So I'm going to replace this 8 with a 23. Just like this. Save it. So we keep B exactly how it is. Save it. Come back to VESA. Open it. So now we reopen this AU 2 by 2 by 2 VASP. And there we go. This is effectively our nanowire. And I know it may look strange. All of these atoms here, okay, these are all extra atoms. So these can be essentially deleted. Now, if we go back to how we originally had it, um, what you'll see is that when we expand in the B dimension, so I go to boundaries, let's expand it five in the B dimension. You can see that there is our nanowire right there. So this is a gold nanowire. It's two by two by two unit cells thick. You can see if we kept it one by uh, just 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 one unit cell that this would be our nanowire. So you can basically literally you can literally see the nanowires inside of themselves. Um, this is a completely crystalline nanowire, so it's not amorphous. If you wanted to make it amorphous, you'd have to do a, an exhaustive procedure of um, simulated annealing. And um, yeah, so this is basically our gold nanowire. It was a little different from the TIO2 procedure, um, but I hope it was instructive. I uh, just want to remind you one final time that this is a crystalline nanowire. It's very ideal. You'd have to, you know, heat this up or do some relaxation on it. Um, but yeah, that's periodic in the B dimension. And there's vacuum in the A and C dimension. So, okay. Thank you very much for watching. Please uh, hit the subscribe button uh, so you can stay tuned. Thank you.